In this video, I'll show how to analyze and optimize the multi-core execution behavior of your simulate model by using Dataflow domain to make use of multiple cores and improve simulation performance. To use Dataflow, you select a computationally intensive subsystem and enable Dataflow execution domain from the execution tab in the property inspector. Upon enabling Dataflow, the multi-core contextual tab appears in the simulate tool strip. Multi-core analysis will automatically have load balance blocks across the cores. To do this for simulation, we must profile block execution times and perform multi-core analysis. To do this, first we select the cost mode on the left-hand side of the tool strip. For good generation targets, cost estimation using an internal compiler to estimate the relative cost of blocks. And for software in the loop or processor in the loop, we use execution time profiling. As we are taking a look at simulation analysis, we will select the default mode of simulation profiling. For best performance, it is recommended to set some model parameters to optimal settings. Using the optimized drop down button, we can set individual parameters to optimal settings. Or by clicking the icon, we can set all the parameters simultaneously. For convenience, profiling and analysis are combined into a single analysis button click for simulation analysis. Before we run the analysis, we can change the analysis constraints. To the left of the Run Analysis button, we see two edit boxes where we can override the auto constraints. The first one is maximum number of threads to be used for multi-core simulation. When it's left to auto, the maximum number of threads will be the number of physical cores in the host machine, which in this case would be six. The second constraint is the multi-threading threshold, which is the lower bound of total execution time at which multi-threading overhead is justified. For simulation, it's recommended to leave this as auto. With the constraints left in auto, we click on the Analyze button. This will simulate the model and profile the execution times of the blocks. Once the profiling simulation is complete, the multi-core analysis is run. Upon completion of the analysis, the results of partitioning are shown. Thread highlighting shows that the blocks are partitioned onto two threads. To get more insight on the results of the analysis and to get suggestions, we can look at the Dataflow Analysis Report panel. The first thing we notice here is a suggestion for increasing the concurrency in the model. We are suggested to add an algorithmic latency to increase the throughput of the model execution. The Dataflow subsystem has a latency of zero and the analysis suggests that we change that to two. When we click Accept, the Dataflow latency is changed to a latency of two and the analysis is rerun. There's still only two threads highlighted, but the partitioning has been optimized. The thread highlighting can be controlled from the thread highlighting legend. We can also see pipeline delays have been added to the data flow subsystem to break data dependencies and allow blocks to be executed concurrently on different threads. The delays are indicated with Z and minus N icons, and the visibility of the icons can be controlled from the toolbar. We can also see if there are additional multi-core diagnostics. Here we can see that the receiver block is 75% of the computational load. We can investigate further and take a look at the cost of the blocks in the cost editor. Here we can see the profiled execution times for the blocks and their relative loads. We can see that the receiver block is significantly more computationally intensive than the other blocks. This will impact the maximum throughput as this block takes longer to execute than all the other blocks combined. This limits us to two threads for this data flow subsystem. One thread for the receiver and one thread for all the other blocks. Any additional threads would be wasted as the data flow subsystem cannot execute faster than the most computationally expensive block. Utilizing data flow with two threads gives us a simulation speed up of 1.5x compared to normal non data flow single thread execution. Using the multi-core contextual tab, you can analyze and optimize the simulation multi-core execution of a data flow domain. Thanks for watching.